that we love, but also various aspects of the business that we thought could be improved upon and made even better for the consumers. So before, before we do that, let's focus on the things that we love first. So um, one was the indicator for sentiment and message volume for each stock. Since the core factor which differentiates stock twits from its competition is the fact that it's a financial social media platform, so it's everyone is talking about the stocks, they're talking about finance. So this indicator really takes in everyone's opinion into account in one simple, just one simple indicator. So you won't, won't have to scroll through, oh, this person saying this about Apple, this person saying this, so how do I like take everything into account? But in this indicator, you can just see everything. Okay, so this is the overall market sentiment, and this is how many people are talking about it. So, and the next is the fundamental section for each stock. So with stock to its fundamental section, you won't have to refer to like Yahoo Finance or any other any other outside source, you can just click on the stock and click on the fundamentals and really see, all right, so these are the key financial aspects of it and some technical aspects, like for traders, they wanna know what's the 52 week high, what's the 52 week low, for financial, like what's the EPS for this stock. So knowing the different things and having it accessible right there on the platform without having to go anywhere, I found was extremely convenient. And another thing is a trending section on the home screen. So, for those who may not know too much about stocks, and even for those who follow them on a daily basis, the trending section will provide you, okay, so these are the most volatile stocks for the day, and these are the ones that are making the biggest moves. So it can really influence your next stock moves and show you the biggest moves that the stocks are making. And um, again, it's extremely convenient. And I mentioned that because in today's society, everybody wants something, everything convenient, fast, and just easily accessible, and that's something a trending section provides. And um, indicator for stock activity since your post. So, this I thought was extremely unique and I haven't really seen anywhere else. So this indicator, like let's say you post about um, Twitter and say Twitter, I like the way Twitter's looking, I think it's gonna go up. You post that and you look back at it a day later, you can see how Twitter moves into your post so it can like build your market credibility in a way. You can really show, okay, so I predicted this about Twitter and wow, I was right and or wow, I was wrong. So you can really look back and if you were wrong, like analyze the different ways you approached it and maybe look like a better approach for how you can improve your stock analysis in the future. And lastly is the introduction of trade apps. So StockTwits announced that it's gonna be introducing its own trading platform, which I thought was huge because to grow as a business, I mean, stock StockTwits is a financial social media platform, they need to venture out and expand. So I thought a trading platform was an amazing way to do so. So now StockTwits can begin to compete against other financial um, companies such as Robin, but really established themselves as a dominant force in the financial industry. Uh, so in order to present what we're talking about, we actually want to talk about three different points. Uh, so first of all, we want to talk about increasing the user base. So this is important because we want to increase the number of users on the platform, and we do that with three different points of execution. So the first one we want to do is actually engage and partner up with different schools, uh, which we'll uh, be talking about by Anthony, as well as how we can also incorporate stock uh, stock puts into more uh, financial related events. And finally, also increasing the number of authentication methods using the platform, which I'll be covering. So in order to start to increase your user bases, you gotta look at what platforms uh, have done in the past. And a lot of things that StockTwix can do. There's a lot of you that have, have been in schools as of now. As of now, there are 700,000 uh, individuals in New York City alone that can end up going on the StockTwix platform as of now. This is a 35% uh, increase from what your actual platform is now with over 2 million subscribers and will drive it to be at 2.7 million. In addition to this, it'll keep increasing by 5% each year as roughly 100,000 individuals keep coming on the platform from high school to see, uh, senior year to college level students. This is a great platform that people can use. And as you can see here, it, it will also allow there to be more subscriptions. To start off, teachers can uh, it, this can be as simple as allowing uh, students to come into your offices or uh, creating a stock class. The stock class will be a teaching platform that teachers can use to uh, educate their economics and finance students. This, this platform allows ideas to be spread from the stock market to other financial theories and allows people to do work inside and outside of classroom, causing the users uh, as the youth to subconsciously be using the platform and make it a part of their everyday life. It will also increase the number of user stock this has because when you subscribe a class, each individual person will also do, uh, sign up for their own individual stock to account. And uh, in addition to that, when, when you want to increase the buzz, the, the uh, buzz of the company, 
There's great ways to do this. First, you can start by offering uh, lo uh, small scholarships and internships throughout the, the city. Hundreds of thousands of people are looking for internships and scholarships. Stockton's can take advantage of this by incorporating a contingency in the sense when you're applying for an internship or a scholarship that you must get a Stockton's account. This will increase the number of users dramatically and will allow for growth of the company. But that is not all. We've also taken polls out, outside, and we've seen that people like to meet up. We know people want to have intellectual conversations, but it's so hard nowadays. Stockwitz is a platform where everyone is at the highest intellectual peak of their lives. And this allows you to have great conversations with one another and actually hear one another out. It's not like you're talking to a five-year-old that won't really understand what you're saying. This is a conversation that has back and forth. You can make connections that will last forever. And finally, uh, we've also noticed that creating a point system is very crucial. Uh, we, we took a poll and 91% of people said that they want uh, a point system on stock points. This point system would work in the sense that if I, got, if I predicted something right, it'll, it'll give me one point, and if I predicted something wrong in the market, it'll subtract me one point. People will compete against friends and see who actually will get the highest score. This will increase the amount of competition on the platform and the amount of fun that you'll get on this platform. So our last point of execution that we wanted to really bring home was the idea of increasing the ways uh, we can authenticate the actual platform. So uh, we noticed that with the platform, uh, we have to sign up with an email. Uh, we're not able to use any other uh, method to sign in. So what I mean by that is we're not able to do something like OAuth or OpenID to actually uh, log in with our Facebook or Twitter accounts. And this is actually really important because we see that not only does this make it really easy for a lot of people to be able to sign into the platform, but it can also allow people to ro really roll over their accounts from social media, especially millennials. Uh, we see that companies who do this use more, and then use more authentication like this are able to increase the user base by three times. And also in addition, though, we, we see that with authentication, another uh, way that we, like, because of the fact that we're doing this, we're also able to really uh, enforce good security practice. Um, so in addition with that, we also would like to propose the idea of using two-factor authentication, especially since we know that um, Stockwoods is now going to be trading digital liquid assets. So this will be a very important feature that would help consumers, especially since at least 54% of people are using some form of it in their applications. Increasing the duration of the time on the platform will, cost, will spark conversation among users and increase advertising exposure. Also, implementing these, these following will increase the functionality of the Stockwoods app. Not only that, people on the app will be incentivized to use more time on the platform and, be, and use the app even more. The introduction of drawing charts and also referencing charts on the platform will increase the time of the user. <clears throat> also, the fundamentals of the company can be displayed easier can be made easier to find and access. First, the ability to draw on charts and cross-reference charts needs to be on the mobile application. It is on the website, but this will incline users to spend more time with their, they can spend more time on the stock list app as they no longer have to reference to any stock, any other app or website. With this, they can use stock indicators such as RSI or MACD to reference these apps and post them directly onto the platform and they can spend more time without having to leave the app and go to other websites or apps such as Yahoo Finance. So um, as you mentioned, the fundamental section is one that we did love, but we found that it was unaccessible and hard to find in a way. So um, as you can see that right now, what it is is just the four lines. And I personally thought that it would be like, like if I, I couldn't find the fundamentals until I ended up somehow clicking on it. So to put this theory to the test, I actually tested 20 of my classmates and gave them a 30 second time limit to find the fundamentals for a particular stock. And only seven of them were able to succeed. So an easy fix to this problem, I believe would be changing from the four stripes icon to the actually saying fundamentals because in the end, everyone did agree that the fundamentals icon is extremely powerful and it's something that they would want to see. But 
them not being able to like find it in a way sort of decreases the full capability. So people don't really realize the full capability to stop to its app until they actually know where to click. So simply changing the fundamentals icon will allow users to fully experience the power of swap tits. And next would be um, the implementation of the tutorial. So a lot of users, they tend to delete apps after they install them because they sometimes don't know how to use them. And according to Andrew Chen research, um, the average app loses 77% of its users three days post install. The reason is most users don't understand the full capability and power of applications. So the implementation, like especially the app like Stop Twitch, where there's so much going on. There's the roots aspect, there's the, you can post about this, indicate between bearish and bullish, there's so much you can do. The implementation of the tutorial is really gonna solidify for users. This is exactly what you can do with the app, and this is the different ways you can do it. So this is gonna incline users to stay on the app longer, therefore increasing the duration, and also help keep a higher um, client retention rate as users are now gonna realize exactly what the power of stock tools is, and they can really implement it more into their daily lives. So when it comes to branding and creating an image for your company, aesthetics is everything. So you wanna make a lasting impression on your consumers, and to do that, you have, we have to focus on consistency, because consistency is key. So small things can go such a long way. An example of something small that can go such a long way is by narrowing down your color palette, or maybe your color scheme, into one specific color, or just one specific color in general that we can utilize on all Stockwoods icons and platforms. So an example of this will be on the next slide where instead of a navy dark blue, we can utilize a lighter and brighter blue that pops out to the eyes of the consumer and makes the icon more memorable. We can also take into account that we can narrow down the amount of stock clips icons there are to one specific one that will be used on all stock clips platform and media so that the next time any consumer looks at the icon, they'll know exactly what company they're looking at and they'll know that it's the stock clips icon. And that's exactly the exposure and brand recognition we're looking for. With the new theme color, we can create a splash page. Of course, we'll make sure you have a uh, stock list needs to make sure that it doesn't last too long because if the loading screen takes too long, it may annoy the users. So this is a sample that we've made. Now, currently, currently, stock Twits only has a light screen mode, but many other platforms like YouTube and Twitter provide a dark screen mode as well. A survey done by Vision Council said that 60% of American adults prefer a dark screen mode because the bright screen causes eye irritation. Furthermore, in 2018, Google demonstrated with YouTube's dark mode that it was able to save 60% more battery on the phone. This means that if Stockfist was to provide a dark screen mode with the same functions, user duration would increase because their phones are lasting longer. By increasing user base, increasing duration of users on the platform and enhancing the aesthetics, it will help lead to increased revenue. So all the things previously mentioned before will increase revenue. So increasing revenue will be beneficial for the company in multiple ways. We see more feasible to investors, continuous growth is shown, and it also encourages long-term sustainability. So everything mentioned before does increase revenue, but right now we're focusing on two points. So we know that you guys have verified accounts, but we're trying to make them more widespread because what I'm I'll talk about verified accounts later, and also since you have verified accounts and making it more widespread, it will be easier to diversify the type of advertisements and the type of people you're targeting on your app. So increasing the So to get a verified account, so I know you guys have verified accounts, right? So I've done a survey with all my classmates and over 85% millennials and Gen Zers that I've surveyed say that a verified account gives, you know, the person more, like the things that they're posting more like you know, they're like more of legit. And so basically, a verified account, right? We know that so, like about 60% of your users are under the age of 44. And when I'm scrolling through all these posts, it gets very confusing. And I'm, cert I'm uncertain of who to trust and the stuff that they're posting. So getting verified accounts will solve this problem immediately. So individuals will trust that stock Twits has done a sufficient job ensuring the credibility of their user so that so verified accounts will not be given to everyone because you have to be an established um, let's just say financial institution like a bank or a trustworthy financial officer like a CFO and you're probably wondering well how can a verified account generate revenue so let me tell you the process of getting a verified account 
First, companies and individuals will have to submit their personal information for a background check to verify their credentials. If they are verified, they, have, they should pay like a fee. So individuals $9.99 per month and, and companies $29.99 per month to keep this verification. Paying such a premium price will not only be a new revenue stream for StockTwix, but also since you have verified accounts, you'll gain more millennial and Gen Z users, and this will gain more trust for them. So you'll have more of those um, age groups signing up for your app. So increasing the revenue for any company is vital, especially when you talk about sustainable growth. Now when we talk about StockTwits, StockTwits is one of those companies who's really placed themselves as being really lucrative in the financial sector because of the fact that you're implementing an aspect of social media. And you're implementing social media in a sector where it's predominantly really data-driven and you're only talking about these strictly numerical figures. Now, and this is why capitalizing on simple methods of advertising is so beneficial for companies like these because there are advertisers who actually look for companies that are a little bit traditional, a little bit outside of the traditional norm. So, for example, if we look at the big shots of, so, of the social media industry, 85% of Twitter's um, actual revenue, which is 2.61 billion dollars for the fiscal year 2018, is generated from advertisements as well as 89% of Facebook's total revenue, there's $40 billion for the fiscal year of 2018, is all also generated through, um, through advertisements. Now, what me and my uh, colleagues, what we did, was we created this sort of business model called a cost per engagement. So what exactly is engagement? Engagement is when your consumers sort of interact with your advertisements. A lot of people and a lot of apps, they just show your advertisement, but within our model, we sort of push for um, an interactiveness. So, um, well, by post, we mean that if you were to have an advertisement post, um, you would get a dollar per, uh, per engagement. Um, if you were to have accounts strictly dedicated for your marketing purposes for your businesses, you would get $2 per engagement by your consumers, as well as we, um, we would offer like standardized advertising packages with a base price of $50 and $3 per the engagement, which is very um, uh, an industry price. Now, when you look at, or if I were to ask you, what does finance mean to you? A lot of people of our age, or they think that, okay, well, finance is this elderly man sitting behind a computer working nine to five, crunching numbers with his head in his hand, right? But stock twist truly places itself as being, um, as redefining what finance is. It's using psychology, perspective, thoughts, sentiment into a sector, like I said, that's so dictated through data analytics and numbers. Now, what we did was, as young individuals trying to get into this industry, we brainstorm about different ideas and how we can help increase your user base um, fix the uh, fix the different aesthetics, and we just wanted to give you a different perspective into what our generation and what we feel. So at the end of the day, we are strong believers into what StockTwix is doing, and we believe in you guys. And hopefully, we have made ourselves as a credible source that you guys can believe in us too. Thank you.